Crowdsourcing uses the power and reach of the internet to drive innovation and get things done. Why use one person when you can use all the people? And that's today's BFD. We're all pretty familiar with Kickstarter. It's raised over $350 million to help fund projects, including the power laces from Back to the Future. Oh my god, shut up and take my money! It's called crowdfunding. Just one type of crowdsourcing, a concept so new we only created a name for it in 2006. For the first time in history, anybody can put an idea out in front of the entire world overnight. And people are using this power and potential for good, to make new discoveries and get things done. There are other types of crowdsourcing, too. Microwork turns the internet into a factory line where each person does a very small task to achieve a larger result. But because it's online, there's no risk of watching your buddy get sucked into the meat vat. Take Galaxy Zoo, for example. They show photos of galaxies and ask users to classify them as round, spiral, or something else entirely. This is one of the few things left we can do better than computers. Heh. <laughs> By having eager stargazers classify a few pictures a day, astronomers can fill in the gaps in our understanding of the night sky. The astronomy geeks get paid in satisfaction, but other microwork sites give out cold, hard PayPal credit. Amazon's Mechanical Turk may not be a full-time gig, but it might pass the time better than Sudoku, and it pays. Wisdom of the crowd sites take brainstorming to the nth degree. The real idea is that somewhere in the world, somebody sitting at a computer has a solution to your problem. OpenIDO.com is a site that works with nonprofits to present the community with a social issue challenge. Users post their ideas for the fix, and ideas are boiled down until the community agrees on a solution. The nonprofit gets innovative ways to help the planet, and the user gets recognition for being part of that solution. This is slightly different than inducement prize crowdsourcing. That kind presents a large problem and offers money or other rewards for coming up with the right idea. Sites like xprize.org offer millions of dollars for technical innovations, ranging from a new kind of spaceflight, to revolutionary oil cleanup techniques, and a recent challenge to build something that approximates Star Trek's fictional tricorder. What? Other crowdsources you might know are Wikipedia and Threadless. Yep, the t-shirt company, that's crowdsourcing. The lesson of these sites, though, is that we're better when we work together, rather than trying to solve problems in a vacuum. It's not a new idea, but it's one that the internet has put into practice a big time. So the question is, what do you want to do with your spare time? Look up pictures of your ex on Facebook, or do a little bit of work that makes big changes in the world? Get involved with one of the crowdsourced projects mentioned on the show linked in the descriptions below, or leave a comment on what else you think the power of the crowd could be used to accomplish. For BFD, I'm Leelon Bowden, and click here to subscribe. <laughs>